if I suddenly go viral, she's why. There goes my girl. I don't even know if I introed this vlog. We're going to Target. Well, I'm dragging Michael to Target. <laughs> Run her over. What are you doing? Oh, fun. That's a cute bag. Ooh, I love that. Oh my God. Oh, I wonder if she'll have the baby same day as my best friend because she's also due. I like saw him and I was like, is that really him? And then he waved to us and I was like, oh. I don't think so. I thought she moved. You know what she did? What? She left her soil stuff out. And you know what happened? What? Something made a home in our outside shed. Yeah, I think we have oh. an owl. Our neighbor next door like plugged up his thingy. So I think a bird keeps sneaking in. I don't think I caught that all on camera. That's funny. Ooh, look at that G-Wagon. That's cute. Cleaning has just really fallen off like a mountain. It's horrible. She does nothing. I have to clean up after her. <laughs> Anyways, we needed to come to Target because the dust collects. You see what she causes me? Gray hairs. This is because of her stress levels causing me more stress. You know what they say, happy wife means you get a happy life and I have not been happy Last lately. Last time I checked, you're not even my fiance right now. Oh, I, yeah, I had to take off my nope. ring because of all nope. the cleaning products. Nope. Do you think, no, we don't need the six foot. That's excessive. But how do you clean that? It's much more washable. Wait, really? That's what it says. I did not expect to get in a predicament. I like that this is machine washable. That one, and just go get the $10 one over there to test. That could be a TikTok. Um, yeah, I could do chicken tendies if we went somewhere and you wanted a burger. I want to this one. I got this. Oh my god. I shop at Target. Target. I need my sunnies. My head's gonna explode. We're like 30 feet away from home. Oh, I already feel better that I have sunglasses on. Is that what you want? Then does it look good to you? Yeah. I'm taking a little cleaning break because it's like 2 o'clock and we're gonna order delivery and then I'll get back to cleaning. I will say what I have gotten done so far has been good. Don't think I explained everything in those other clips. So just to recap, I'm trying to properly clean everything. In one of my vlogs, I know I was saying like I was organizing and I have come to realize there's a huge difference in being organized and being clean. And I'm not gonna lie, right now, the apartment is not that clean. Can you get off the bed? Dude. There's not even a sheet down. Come on, shoo, shoo. I don't need your cat hair everywhere. Yeah, the apartment is not fully clean, so that is what I'm trying to do. And even though I got a little bit of a later start today and I got to sleep in, which was actually really nice, and Michael and I just hung out and laid around for a bit, I'm trying to clean this room, especially because I have the sheets and the comforter in the wash. So that's like my perfect timer to keep me focused and motivated to get this done. So I just started doing the corner from like nightstands over, but honestly, before I get to the dressers, I know I always kind of avoid them and they look super cluttered right now. I feel like I actually need to go through the rest of my desk over here because I need to figure out a better flow for how things are.
little break for lunch. Those are some fries. And then we got a small, oh, I want this load. Oh my God, I just said, why won't that load? And it was opening. Oh my God, that's so cringe, Gen Z. Got small meat lovers pizza, a ton of chicken tenders, cause I'm in the mood for chicken tenders more than anything. I was coming over here to set up the tripod cause the comforter is almost done. And I totally forgot she was there. I just like saw darkness and I was like, oh, what is that? I was about to grab the bag. And then I realized it was Raven. That's really funny, I know. Other black cat owners can relate. You just see a blob and then eyes appear and you're like, oh, there's the cat. I reorganized the bin and took photos of what can go into the buy nothing group that I'm part of. I texted some friends and family who can take some of the stuff I had and I put them in bags that I'll take that to them this week. So now we're just waiting on the comforter. I have to hang up those clothes cause they need to air dry. I found some products that I actually decided I wanted to keep out of the bin because I'm either A, out of it or B, I actually wanna try it. Oh, just kidding. I'm not trying this because that expired. Into the garbage. When did this one expire? That's embarrassing. So that's also expired. And then there's this foundation. And unfortunately, I am pale enough. This is the right shade for me. So in case I want to have a few full coverage days, I saved this. It is after five now. It's probably only going to be able to get to this room. I'm not even going to get to vacuum it like I hope. It's looking a lot better and feeling a lot better. So got to take progress over perfection. I just noticed another cat. Hello. How'd you get back there, chonky girl? Oh, I can see it was a bit of a struggle. Oh yeah, is our chonkiest girl. I think it's just in her jeans because I give her like three quarters of a cup to a cup of food and she is massive compared to Mika and Raven. But if you look at her siblings, her like twin sister and her brother, they are also huge and they eat around the same as what she does. I think she eats the least compared to the three of them. But she's big and like she's muscular. Like she's not a fatty chonky. She's a muscular chonky. Can we keep it clean just for a little bit? Just for a little, just for mommy's sanity. Okay, if I'm being realistic, I'm not gonna get everything done that I wanted to get done. I can hear my neighbor upstairs vacuuming. I really wanna vacuum, but we need to sweep my rug first to get up all of this excess hair from like me, the cat. I already know that all of these books are gonna go into that bookshelf over there. I have picture frames I need to fill and then I just need to declutter. I know what I need to do to get done, but I'm not gonna force myself to do it because like I said earlier, we gotta prioritize progress over perfection. I'm gonna sit down, edit a video that I really wanna get up. By the time you're seeing this, it's already up. It was my most recent video, my outfits of the day, but like a week in my life vlog style. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'm gonna go edit that so that way I can get that up by April 15th. So I have at least one post done and then hopefully you are seeing this on April 30th. Do not break. It was free. I don't care. I can't afford to replace it. Anyways. So, the week. Whoever is doing that, can you stop? So the week in my life vlog footage only adds up to 44 minutes. I probably will be able to bang this out and get a first edit done by the end of tonight. That's good. I just have to sit down and cut out like dead space and make sure it looks cohesive. Generally, when I edit, my rule of thumb is however long the footage is, double that amount of time it will take to edit. If this is 44 minutes, it's gonna take me about 80 minutes. I just round up to like 120 minutes. So basically two hours. Usually what slows me down is final time and the actual final watch. The initial run through of the footage isn't that bad. Cutting out dead air or making jump cuts like the one you just saw now. That stuff doesn't really take that long because I'm watching. It's once I get through all of the footage and I'm piecing together the storyline, that is actually usually what slows me down. Isn't as easy as editing B-roll where I just do a master cut and I just cut through a ton of the clip, it's super easy. So this shouldn't take me too long, cross my fingers. It is 6.17 right now as I'm starting this. So let's see how long it takes me. I'll check back in.
Michael has been gaming. I have two assistant editors. Look at Aya. She is rocked. She's doing this like, um, like, you know, when you're falling asleep and you like twitch, she's like doing that. Oh, big stretch. Mika's just yeah. vibing. I am almost done this vlog. My estimate was way off. I said it would take me two hours to get a first edit done. I'm getting a lot done where I knock on wood. I think I will be able to get done the final edit, so. So I was off yesterday and my prediction of how long it would take me to edit that vlog from first cut to final export But it is done and today I just have to work on collecting the links for the description and Working on the thumbnail for the video. So it took me to over like three and a half hours total I would say because when did I tell you that I was ready for export at like 11? Yeah, so like almost four hours first import of the video to Final export ready to go live on YouTube. That's pretty good. I take that as a month Sorry, my car is. What? Your car? I have to gas. Oh, okay Michael and I are going to my parents for the day because Michael's gonna help my dad do some mulching. <laughs> we leave to go get Michael gas and we get gas at BJ's because it's typically the cheapest in the area. And the gas station is closed. I guess they're out of gas because they would have been open at the time that we went. Right now it's only 10.32 and we got there probably at like 10. So then we leave and we go towards my parents and we stop at a Wawa. We pull up to the Wawa because I was like, oh, I can get a Wawa coffee. And it's under construction. Like, look at that. Clothes for remodel. We're just here. Michael's getting gas because the fuel is still open. But I guess I'm having coffee at my parents' house, which I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Michael's gonna help my dad mulch and I'm just gonna hang out with my mama. Wait, I definitely don't see you. I know how to drive. I know where I'm at. This is my neck of the woods. <laughs> Oh my god, really? I can't believe that dog just greeted you before me. Hey, right, Mama, what do you want to watch? You can see if there's an itchy boot out. We got home and ate some dinner and just relaxed. We've been binging One Tree Hill because I've never seen it. Michael has seen it multiple times. Binged a few more episodes of that, but now it's Sunday night. I just have to put away some laundry. I'm so glad I cleaned as much as I did because I feel probably mentally better that we're like entering the week with a cleaner-ish, more organized apartment. So I am scheduling out my content for the week. So if I ever get the opportunity to post something in advance, I typically do. Normally I am starting at my club. Today I am actually driving to a different club. And I'll make my espresso and my other stuff that I do to get ready for the day. And then we're gonna head out to go to the other club. Oh my god, I feel like this vlog has been all over and at this point that absolutely makes sense. Last night, Michael and I went to wing night and had wings at this wing place near us. There is Monday wing nights, so we went last night. It's kind of become a tradition. I love going to wing night though because it is like so much easier not having to plan a meal. I just did a morning workout class and now I need to get ready for work. We can have a little chit chat, get ready with me. My original plan for this vlog was only to be like a weekend, but I don't know if I got a lot of content to make a vlog from the weekend. So I guess that's why I'm still vlogging now slash, I don't know, I like vlogging. So I'm debating if I'm gonna do espresso or Wawa coffee. I'm pretty sure today Wawa coffee is free because it's the 60th anniversary or something. But I saw my coworker have a vintage 
Wawa cup, and I thought that was pretty cool. I think I might go to Wawa today for my coffee just to have the vintage looking cup. Oh, this was posted one hour ago, and it says, Today we're celebrating Wawa Day with free hot coffee and inspiring stories that capture the special connection between our associates and customers. Aw. Oh, they've been over for 60 years. Oh, that's great. I love Wawa, so I'm... Well, the decision was made. I'm going to Wawa for my coffee this morning. I would like to continue to clean the apartment. Like, guys, when I say the rug is bad, the rug is so bad. It's embarrassing how bad it is. That's the mental state I'm at. Today, after work, I'm going for a rug with a friend we're gonna try and do five miles because we are in the broad street run and I, I minimum I need to be able to run eight miles the goal obviously is to get as close to 10 miles as possible but I am running out of time so the goal is just to hit eight miles and be able to do it comfortably so hoping that will be feasible will be I'm not 100% sure but I really hope so I posted in the buy nothing group that I'm in I put a bunch of stuff in. I said I would pick winners on Friday morning, so it is Friday morning. So I sat down and went through all of the comments, chose people to get whatever prizes. Well, they're not prizes, but my stuff. I have not vlogged in a hot minute. I feel like the last time we chatted, I said I was leaving to go for a run with my friend. I need to start getting ready for work, so I figured let's film a little get ready with me and we can chit chat. Ooh, okay, let's real quick do my hair for the day. I'm gonna just do a Dutch braid. Make it super easy because I'm gonna work out and I'm also going to be cleaning when I get home. So having it up in a Dutch braid is just gonna be easier in the long run. So, oh, this week has been chaos, guys. I'm so sorry I didn't vlog after my run. I like came back and was like deceased. <laughs> so my friend and I did five miles. We're in the Broad Street run. So that's why we did five miles. It felt pretty good considering I was talking with her like the whole time. I mean, I was a little out of breath. I was kind of, and I told her, I was like, I'm so sorry. I sound like I'm dying, but I promise I'm enjoying this. She likes running with me because I'm really good at pacing. And I mean that in the most humble way. I just, if you tell me a pace to hold, I'm pretty decent at holding it. We were like chatting. So we ran about like an hour and we got five minutes. Don't really felt like I had a ton of ton left in the tank, which I know is like bad because I need to run like 10 miles, which is double that. Five miles at that pace and that was like a talking pace. I'm pretty proud of it. This weekend, I hope that I can get up to like seven miles. We shall see what the schedule is because even though we don't have a super busy weekend, we are going back to my parents to help them finish mulching. Well, my girl's gonna help my dad finish mulching. My mom and I are gonna sit inside and enjoy uh, watching the guys work. <laughs> we did our grocery shopping yesterday, so that way we don't have to worry about it at all this weekend. If I can get some laundry done tonight, I probably will do that. But I just, in general, I need to clean this apartment. It needs, like, it's been organized and it's been semi-tidy, but it has not been clean. That's what the big focus of today after work will be. Oh my god, I didn't even do my eyebrows well. That shows how tired I am. This bathroom needs to be cleaned. The carpets need vacuuming so bad. It's just something I always put off, so I kind of want to like discipline myself to do all of the cleaning and organizing that I have been putting off. Michael has to work kind of late-ish, so he's not going to finish at his normal time, which is kind of nice because then I can use that as like my timer to be like, all right, we need to be getting all of this done. So the only thing I really got clean, bruh. The only thing I really got clean was the bedroom, but that needed to be vacuumed. So I'm super happy that got done. Michael is home and we're gonna order some delivery because I do not feel like cooking and he's actually in the mood for Chinese food and he's never in the mood for Asian food. So we're capitalizing on this. Not when I get a bowl. Hey! We gotta go. Annie, come! 
Hi, pretty girl. It is really pretty out there, isn't it? The end piece is for me, all right? I'm not very good at cutting it with a straight, straight uh, cut, you know? I finally stopped procrastinating on vacuuming the floor and the sofa. That needed to be done so, so badly. I couldn't bring myself to end this vlog without having done that because I feel like I also mentioned in another vlog that I wanted to get that done. So I knew I had to finish vacuuming the couch and the rug. Oh, I did not expect for this to be a week slash almost two week long vlog. Thanks for watching this. I'm gonna end it here. I got everything done that I wanted. I hope you guys enjoyed this long form vlog. If you want more regular updates, check out the socials. I've been pretty decently active over there. So I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.